Everyone loves public figures who engage in providing entertainment for others, aka celebrities. Whether we like it or not, most of us look up to these people. We enjoy what they provide to us, and no matter how bad the term celebrity has been tarnished or even used as an insult, we still tend to look to those who have a much wider public face as those who we look up to. But it usually doesn't matter to the audience because we enjoy different sources of entertainment. It can often warm our hearts when those we look up to actually value us not as consumers, but as human beings just like themselves. Just like that time when Russell Crowe threw that phone at a hotel clerk, I knew I'd pick the best role model ever because that's definitely what I would have done. However, recently I've come across this video from Blimey Cow, a video apologizing to their audience for being more concerned about view counts and subscribers rather than the individual person within their audience. Seems like a pretty good thing Blimey Cow does here. They really come off as sincere and appreciative of their audience while also enjoying what they've been doing for years providing content on YouTube. However, I'm here today to tell you that all of this is an elaborate ruse. It's a trap. Everyone knows that if you want to get the public on your side, you're going to have to feed them what they want to hear. And there's no better way to please the populace than to be a populist yourself. Let's make America great again. America. And today I will be exposing Blimey Cow and their video and apology to our audience as nothing more than a way to profit off of their loyal fan base. Yes, Blimey Cow is in it all for the money and they may even be communists. Normally when I do these videos and expose YouTubers for the frauds they really are, I try to keep my points down to three consistent, precise points. But Blimey Cow has done me a great service because I don't even need three points. All I have to do is one simple thing. Compare Blimey Cow to a real, honest YouTuber. And that's me! Is it fair? Who cares? It proves my point and that's all that matters. Now Blimey Cow, I hope you're listening because real YouTubers like me and this guy are not in this for the money or the views or the popularity like you are. Instead, we are so awesome and our intellect is so vast that we provide a much needed service on YouTube. While you're sitting there brainwashing the masses and taking the money right out of their pockets, a real YouTuber like myself is going out on the front lines with my superior knowledge and making the world a better place. It isn't about the views or the subscribers for me. It's about knowledge. And yeah, maybe not a whole lot of people are listening to me right now, but that doesn't matter because most people can't fully comprehend the awesomeness that I'm releasing on YouTube and so they wait till later when their brain is more developed to subscribe. This is why I only need one point instead of my typical three to expose you and your elaborate ruse to swindle your audience out of money. All I need to do is compare myself to you because one of us is on YouTube for noble reasons, while the other one is on YouTube to take money and implement communist doctrine. I'll let the audience decide who that is, but it's definitely you. <laughs> Okay, final thought segment because most people on YouTube don't understand sarcasm or satire some of the time. I have to commend Blimey Cow for being honest with their audience and realizing that there does need to be change in outlook going into the future. However, as I watched that video, I realized that there are a lot of people who are on YouTube for the wrong reasons, namely for popularity most of the time. Being on YouTube can be more stressful than most people think, and it's great to have a sense of humility when you are creating content on YouTube. Some YouTubers, yes, even the smaller ones, are on here because they want popularity and they want to feel important. This is obviously not Blimey Cow's motivation but when you depend on it for a living, it can be stressful. So my first message to all you guys out there who have YouTube channels or are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, take a lesson from Blimey Cow and how they approach their situation in the most recent video they put out and always be humble. And to Blimey Cow, if you're watching, I hope that the stress doesn't wear you out too much because day oneers like myself always look forward to any video you put out because you're doing something amazing on YouTube. Me personally, I discovered your videos when I was having an extreme crisis of faith and it helped me to make light of a lot of things I was struggling with and helped me to discover for the first time in my life, biblical Christianity. And since I mentioned biblical Christianity, scripture does tell us not to be anxious and to remember all things work together for good to the glory of God. I know that sounds like a Christian cliche. Oh no, I hope I don't end up on one of these videos, but it's true. And one last bit of encouragement to anybody out there, at least you're not like one of these terrible YouTubers like this guy that I just found. Watch, look at this channel. Seriously, have you seen this guy's videos? They suck. They're horrible. He doesn't even show his face on camera. <laughs> what a coward. YouTubers of the world, take heart. At least you're not this guy, whoever he is. 